today we are going to be taking a look at the Fior Raven Uvo U U U. Wait, I just butchered it. I think it's Uvo 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 Thirty. I'm caught in the rain, singing in the rain, singing in the rain. Oh, it's rain! Now, uh, we're gonna take an initial first look at impressions as to why I picked this backpack for my international travels and what it was actually going I guess in terms of what other options I had out there I looked at and um, let's get into the review my goal for all this was that the price has to be under $130 it had to have some version or some way of being waterproof or water resistant in case you get caught in rain while you are traveling abroad it had to have travel uh, features in terms of hidden zippers and things that would really make it easier for you to hide items like sensitive passports, uh, money when you're traveling. It also had to look very stylish and didn't make me look more like a backpacker. Instead, I wanted to look a little more stylish as I travel. Now, currently the two bags I have for traveling, I have an Osprey 5.40 and I have a Peak Design um, travel backpack 4045 now those are very nice backpacks I have nothing against them uh, it's just that sometimes the larger bags you have the more you feel like you want to pack um, the peak design is almost five pounds the Osprey is nice but it looks very backpacky uh, very sort of like you're a hiker and I wanted something smaller because you know for trips that I know I'm going and I won't be buying gift for people I know that I can easily just pack the essentials that I need and I don't have to worry about um, because I won't be bringing back gifts or anything like that. This Fior Raven is made from a uh, 400D um, and uh, poly, polyamide. I believe it's something that Fior Raven makes. And what makes it special is that it itself is water repellent. Um, now, because it's naturally water repellent and water resistant, you don't need an external rain cover, which makes it a lot easier for someone like me. One other feature I really love about this is because it's waterproof and for the weight, it only weighs two pounds. So it's it's in there, two pounds, you know, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's not too bad compared to the others, but two pounds is great. One other feature that I really loved about the aesthetics of this is I went with the blue. The feel of the blue is beautiful. You touch it, it feels very premium. It doesn't feel outdoorsy. It has a very nice premium feel to it. The zippers at the very top are hidden. Now the top zippers are hidden and that makes it a lot nicer for being caught in the rain because you know that the zippers, no water is going to get into the top zipper. And inside the top, right be underneath the flap, there is also a little rain protective cover material that they use that keeps the rain from seeping in to the zipper. Now it has a very nice beefy YKK zippers and it's really great if your Raven went with this. YKK zippers, if you know, are really nice and they have a very satisfying zip and they don't feel like they're gonna break anytime soon. It has two nice stretch water bottle stretch pockets. They are not the biggest in the industry, but they do work. I also have a um, this little clip things here for holding anything like if you have a larger water bottle, a tripod, which sometimes I might take with me when I travel for making videos. So that, and then you have this car you can clip it into. One thing I do commend Fiora Raven for doing is that they have included an elastic uh, hold for excess cables. And that's what was lacking from all the other backpacks from the ones from REI and uh, Osprey. I just felt like they didn't have good cable management for all the extra cords around because I don't want to be walking around and looking like really outdoorsy hiker. So you have a little hidden compartment on the side here that you can easily hide a passport, your wallet, and of course you also have the Swedish flag here because they always want to show that everything is made in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Nice mesh material. It feels very airy. Uh, it doesn't feel overly engineered like some other backpacks have it, but it feels very air airy and that when you're wearing this riding your motorcycle or scooter through Southeast Asia your back gets your back gets sweaty you'll still be able to get airflow through here which is what I mostly do when I'm in Asia 
Another feature that I wish they had included in this is load suspenders. Now, this doesn't have any load suspenders, but you know, for a 30 liter backpack, you will probably not be packing it that much. And this is where I have been able to get all of my travel gear, whether I'm going for three weeks or four weeks, down to at least 11 pounds. So I can fit 11 pounds, which is close to 15, which means I have a little more room for other things. Like the 23 liter, which always, which had a little inside zipper, outside zipper, yeah, this one does not instead you get little hooks here that will help you um, hook things like a bike if you have a bike light you can hook that on here or if you want to just tie ropes and tie your your wet rain jacket on the outside of the backpack you have that a quick stash items and again this zipper uh, the inside liner is also made from at the very top the top of the zip also has the waterproof liner and one thing I love about what or uh, what um, Fiore Raven has done is all these flaps kind of cover all these zippers. So when you're traveling, you don't, and you're walking through crowds, if someone is trying to really open your bag or pickpocket you, they not, they won't, they won't actually see any of your zippers. So all your zippers are hidden, which is a really major plus for me when I was picking this bag because I was always thinking that, oh, I'll be using this walking through markets, and I want to make sure that the zippers are hidden enough, especially for why I put the important things. So when you open up on the inside here, um, at the very top, you have a top mesh. So you have two mesh compartments here. You have one at the very top and the second one. So the top zipper mesh is kind of strange. It, it, it doesn't go inwards, it goes up, upwards, which is strange, but it kind of makes sense because the way they made it so that when you open it, your backpack, the zipper is kind of, the top part is laying down. So all your items you put in here, you are actually opening it, zipping it down. So that makes sense. And then right behind that, they also have a little clipping, a little story area. Now you think that this side would be probably for books or anything, but I think it's more designed for things like a tablet. And when we look into the main compartment, it's just really a nice big flat opening. You have a laptop sleeve here. I don't often travel with laptops, but whenever I do, um, I'm glad to know that this can actually fit up to a 15 inch laptop. And you have a nice big opening. Now this is what I was really looking for. I wanted a nice big opening, something you can just stuff in. And I wanted something that wouldn't just open at the top. I wanted something that I could just open up and see all the inside all the way through. So this will give you sort of a good idea as to what you can fit in here. Things that I'll take with me if I was traveling for an extended period of time or to Southeast Asia or even Europe, I'll probably be taking the same items with me. All right, let's get packing. Wear that and this would go in the bag. Start with the medium packing cube. See how the medium packing cube fits in there? And wow, it's not bad. <laughs> I still have room for one more packing cube at the top. I'm gonna to put in the laptop. Now, um, just for your information, the laptop uh, sleeve inside here is bottomless, which means that the laptop, if it drops, if you drop your backpack, the laptop will not be touching the ground. So, which is really nice. It's nice that they did like that. We'll put the other packing cube. And I still have a little bit of room there. It's getting heavy. This is what it looks like with everything packed in a 30 liter backpack. Yeah, 15 pounds. There we go. Tested the claim that this Fiore Raven um, Uvo 30 is actually waterproof. Put the tissue paper in the passport area and we're gonna also put some tissue paper at the very top part here. Put some toilet paper here too to see if any of the contents of these areas 
get wet or if the toilet paper comes out wet. And uh, the fun part is I'm gonna stand in the shower with it. Find out if any of the items that, the toilet paper or tissue paper that I put in here actually did get wet. So let's open up now. Oh, oh no. Yeah, uh, oh no. The toilet paper on here got soaking wet. Look how wet that is. So do not put your passport in here and get caught in the rain. The top compartment and the inside compartment, if the toilet paper in there got wet. Yep, the toilet paper at the very top here got wet right by the zipper, but it didn't seep through. It seems like it got, yeah, at the very top got wet. I wouldn't trust the top part. Looks like it seeped through the zipper and you can see in here, all it's sort of wet right here. There's a little bit of wetness right there. So, um, yeah, it's wet in there. And the toilet paper did get wet. Let's look at the main compartment and see if the rain water got in. So now, the toilet paper in here is dry. So the main compartment is dry. Water didn't get through, but what happened was, what I found was that the hat I put here got a little bit wet. And like I said, it looks like right along the zippers, where the zippers are is where it seems like the water is getting through right by the zippers. So right where the zippers are is where the water seems to be getting through. So it's water repellent. This, so this backpack, the material they used is water repellent, not waterproof. So we've proven that it's not waterproof. So they should remove that out of their marketing. Would I buy this backpack again? Yes. Can I recommend it for someone who's going to do an Uber adventure traveling like around Europe or Asia for months? No, this is for the person who is a very optimized traveler, who knows what they need in terms of they use merino wool, they pack very lightly. And if they know that they do get caught in the rain, they do have to know that they have to find a place to hide because this isn't, this is water repellent, not waterproof because they didn't use water sealed YKK zippers. So all the water that got into this backpack were actually soaking in through the zippers. Now, if we've looked at the price point of it, this is about $145 or 60, depending on where you're buying it from. I got it for 108 because I just used Google and did Google shopping and it came up for 108. For $108, is it worth it to me? Yes, it's worth it. I wouldn't think it's worth it to me if I was to spend 145 just because I could have gone with Osprey which have comparable backpacks, which actually do come with a rain fly, which means that you do really get that water resistant that they say they do. Overall, I like it. I think Fiora Raven did a great job with it. The design, the material feels premium. Uh, it has a very nice city look, but um, I can recommend it for anyone who's looking to travel for five weeks. If you're a minimalist traveler, go for it. For 108, you can't beat it. So overall, I like it and I think I'm going to keep it. Thanks. And if you like this video, I might, I'll put links here or there to more of my videos. Uh, I'm not going to be one of those people who tells you to subscribe, but if you do like this video, put a thumbs up and I will make more videos about stuff I use for travel. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I really appreciate you. Bye.